Hello everyone, this is Jennifer with Stickers by Jennifer. Welcome to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so that you can be notified when I post sticker related content or stationary related content. You can also click the bell notification so you can be notified when I do post. And then also, um, please like the video so I can bounce up in the algorithm. Today, I have a template for you and it is long overdue. I have gotten asked about this template so many times that um, kind of drove me a little crazy. It is the Hapanachi Cousin Weekly. So this is um, just like a basic standard kit. It's got some of everything in there, date headers, date dots, some headers, some full boxes, some um, labels. Uh, washi uh what else it has some what do you call those habit trackers and like some half boxes or should i say quarter boxes i'm not sure okay so i do not own a Havanachi cousin so i pulled these numbers by doing like a very large amount of research and what I saw consistently through my research were these numbers that I'm using so when I'm using Photoshop I am building out my kits through with measurements and I want to go over those measurements for with you before I do this design so the full boxes are 1.3 inches in width by 1.32 inches in height the header the date headers are 1.2 inches by 0.3 inches the uh, the date dots are 0.27 the uh, what are these things <laughs> uh, these are labels these labels are the same 1.3 by 0.43 my headers are 1.3 by 0.27 labels are the same this label it should be the same 1.4 uh, uh, 1.43 you know what you got to go into the shapes with this because of the way I built it <sighs> okay and it's in pixels so <laughs> forget it but it is one point it is the same as these 1.43 1.3 by 0.43 that's what those are and then the oh boy okay i believe i have these the same as this which is um the same 1.3 by 0.43 my i don't know if you want to call these half boxes or quarter boxes these are 1.3 by 0.64 and then we have the washi uh 3.94 by 0.59 uh, this one is 3.94 by 0.28 and then I have the bigger sizes which is 5.24 by 0.6 and then another 5.24 by 0.28 and then you have this one uh, 3.94 by 0.28 okay so now that we have gotten through all that blah 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 <laughs> then I have a, a blank space here which I'm just gonna use to add like some planner icons and so we're gonna go leave here and then we're gonna go into I need to close out some of this stuff we're gonna leave that we're gonna leave here and we're gonna go into uh, yes uh, here's where I, I did my resizing I built this out myself yeah 1.3 by 0.43 all right so now we're gonna leave here we're we're done going over this part and we're gonna start talking about uh some other things so the design i'm gonna use today to do the speed through is this cute bees digital papers kit i'm gonna use this to do the full boxes add in the colors and all that other stuff you're gonna see like a speed through of me doing everything and these are the planner icons I'm gonna use to make my own icons for the blank space here 
and then I wanted to talk to you about something else which is very important I am doing a speed through I'm not going to um, <clears throat> go through each box intricately one by one because I have a class I have a class it's a 45 minute class where I go through each box of a, uh, a 7 by 9 planner but if you watch this class you will have an idea of how you should be coloring in this one so it's almost the same framework and you will do the same coloring in that I do in this class I'm gonna leave a link below so that you can watch it and so that you can get an idea of how to make your own planner stickers with my templates okay so <clears throat> that part is done there's a couple of other things that I need to bring out um, the fonts I used Babis the Babis new font you can get that off Google fonts this is the Gen Plans font I bought that off Etsy and then this is the skinny flower font the numbers you can change those but when you watch the class um, that class I'm gonna have a link down below you'll see that it's possible to change all of these fonts if you don't want to use these and so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and design this and um, I want to say thanks so much for watching because I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap that part up because um, it's just gonna go into a speed through um, comment below if you have any questions or if you want me to actually do a class making this kit very 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 slow um, I can ask Rita Fabrica if that's something that they are interested in and I can make a class on that as well but for now we're gonna just go ahead and do a speed through design with me of this I'm gonna put this um, this will be for you to download if you have a Creative Fabrica subscription or you can actually just purchase this file on Creative Fabrica and it will be very very affordable alright so let's get to designing
right, so I'm back. And ta-da, this is finished design. I had said goodbye earlier in the prior video, but I needed to come back and talk to you about the print and cut part real quick, which is also this information about print and cut. It's also in my class. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I do wanna tell you about the size of the print file. So the I'm gonna go to image size and you have you need to write down that this template is 6.75 by 9.25 because you're gonna need to resize it when you go into Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. So um, I have these saved. You also wanna make sure that you save this file as a PNG file, which I already have saved. <clears throat> and you can also download this to do your own cut, your own print and cut. If you wanted to do a test cut before you use this, this you know this template to make your own and see if you need to make some adjustments this is a PSD file so that you can make adjustments to the sizes say for example um, well I will have to turn this part off but say for example if this 1.3 by uh, 1.32 inch full box does not work for you you can adjust the numbers and resize it and slide these around and make everything fit the way you need to fit you can turn things on, you can turn things off. You can do whatever you need to do with this file. And um, just, you know, you can download this in Creative Fabrica and get to work to make you some more beautiful stickers for personal usage. You can make it for commercial usage to start your own sticker business, making stickers off this template. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. And I do not know when I will be able to make another Hopefully it will be soon. I am thinking about some other content that I could make. I'm running out of ideas. If you have any inf um, things that you want me to talk about or to design, let me know down below in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. You can download the file on Creative Fabrica. Link is down below. Link is down below to my class. And link is down below to the, uh, the designs I used to make this. All right, so see you next time. Bye.